Hi there, and welcome to EWI Stores Testing Centre. We have here three boards, three 30mm boards, with uh, slightly different systems applied. Um, we have this board here, which has EWI 225 premium base coat applied um, with the silicon top coat. We have a board here, which is um, 6mm of EWI 225 with a fiberglass mesh um, layer embedded into that smoothed over and then a uh, silicon top coat on there and here we have a uh, 3 mil EWI 225 a layer of Panzer mesh another 3 mil of uh, EWI 225 and then a normal mesh over the top so you have a Panzer mesh here which is a very high density mesh um, followed by a normal layer there so as you can probably see from there but I'll bring it closer you can see a few a couple of holes here, which is uh, um, thanks to our accounts lady Evelina, who stepped on them with with high heels and, and jumped up and down. So as you can see, there's no reinforcement mesh there. So those uh, heels have gone straight through impact there, and you can see that's caused some severe damage there, there on the heels, and then the the, the kind of uh, ball of the foot there. So uh, not great, not very impact resistant. So that is why you need the mesh. But how mesh, how much mesh do you need? So here we've got the single mesh. So we've got the six mil EWI 225 and then the fiberglass mesh bedded into that. I'll bring this closer. As you can see, very slight indentation, but no cracks. So there's nothing structurally kind of wrong with this. It's just taken a, a small little impact uh, there, but basically that mesh has, has given it strength and it has been able to, um, you know, not crack and, and, and stay pretty solid there. So that's uh, not too bad, but that's with a, just a single layer of fiberglass mesh there, and it's 150 gram per square meter mesh. On to the next board. Now this is with the three mil layer of, of, of base coat with a panzer mesh followed by another three mil layer and then the standard mesh on top, smoothed over with then the silicon top coat. As you can see, absolutely nothing on there. Um, and uh, she jumped pretty pretty hard on this one, but absolutely nothing. So that is showing, uh, it's still true to form, uh, perfect, uh, perfect surface. So uh, very impressed with that, it's very good. So although we got uh, Evelina to jump with her heels on these boards, what I'm gonna do is, is uh, Give it a hit with a hammer. Evelyn is not the um, heaviest girl, she's very light, so I want to give it uh, our own test here. So uh, let's try and put a bit more force into it. So here we've got the board with no mesh. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, board with no mesh is uh, terrible. The next board is the one with a single layer of mesh, standard mesh. Not bad, not bad at all, no cracks, just very, very slight indentation. The final board, with two layers of mesh, one being panzer mesh. Absolutely nothing in. <laughs> one more. So now you've seen the impact resistance um, of each board, uh, I'm now going to show you what the mesh does with the flexibility. So uh, again, the mesh, meshless, should I say board. Let's try and bend that. Oh, there you go. That's cracked already at the bottom. So yeah, no mesh. That is just, you know, snap, as you can see. Uh, now I'll test the flexibility of the single mesh. So put a bit of weight on there. That's Flexing quite nicely, no cracks or anything like that. Um, but that mesh is just giving it that strength, um, but maintaining the flexibility there. And have a nice little wobble with that. And finally, we've got the double mesh. So you've got one layer of Panzer and the second layer of normal mesh. Uh, let's just check the flexibility of this. Bit stronger, but you've still got that real flexibility. You know, it's really, really flexible there. Um, but I can feel that that's putting a bit more uh, resistance on, on, on it there. But uh, again, no cracking and uh, very, very flexible. And there you have it. So the clear benefits 
of going for a, a more modern system from EWI Pro here with the fiberglass mesh and the base coat and the top coats over your traditional kind of sand cement with the steel mesh. There is uh, no way that you get that kind of flexibility and strength with the traditional methods, um, but with this, yes, yeah, uh, fantastic.